okay, tarot out now in theaters. And look, I don't normally watch these sorts of films. And if you watch my reviews, you'll notice that I don't do a lot of horror movies. It's just not my thing. I'm not a super fan. I'll watch one once in a while, or there are certain ones that I think are interesting, but I'm not like into like the slashing and stuff like that. Like, I, it's just not my thing. I know there's tons of people out there that love these films. And there's also a ton of creators that do amazing content reviewing this sort of genre of movies. And so kudos to them. But this film here is just not a good film. The story is not good. They make us feel like we're dumb during the whole thing because they literally spell it out for you. And when I mean they spell the story out, they're not showing you the story so much as they're telling you what the story is, meaning people are talking and telling you the story. It's really not good. I don't like movies like that where they think the audience is dumb so they need to spell everything out for you and like be like, oh, that's why this is happening. Well, duh, we, we're smart enough, we can figure that out. Like, you didn't have to tell us that. Also, there wasn't this um, this feeling from the actors that none of that any of this was really serious that was happening. And I'm not going to give away the movie, but it's pretty serious what's happening. And these actors didn't really convey that to me. Um, so the acting is subpar. Um, I already said the writing is subpar. The story is subpar. It's also the jumps aren't great. Like they're expected. You know when they're coming. Um, I just wasn't feeling it. The one redeeming quality of this whole entire film is that there are moments where the cinematography is tight. It's good. And there were definitely moments in the film where I looked at a shot that was being done and I'm like, that's a really cool shot or that's well done. So there are moments in the cinematography that I can't fault. But the overall bad acting, bad storyline, super awful dialogue. Well, hold on to your horses on this one. And I just think for, um, you know, a mainstream film that's put in the theaters, I would have expected more. Like, I really thought that this was probably like a 2B film. And, and I'm not knocking Tubi because Tubi has some great films, by the way. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you would expect that this is being premiered in movie theaters around the country, that the, it was sort of an elevated experience. It was not. So I'm giving it a one star. I'm not even doing a write-up on it because I just don't have time. And you want to know why? Because I'm getting ready to go see The Planet of the Apes. Peace out.